Good afternoon, traders. It's uh, AJ of Awesome Calls Trading. Before I begin this open webinar, I do want to address an issue. What's well, not even an issue unless you make it an issue, unless I make it an issue. But um, recently, uh, it was actually a couple days ago, The uh, we don't do any cussing here, but uh, this crazy person, let's just put it that way, um, a troll, uh, made an admission, and he does it pretty much every three to six months. He pokes at awesome calls, and it's just what he does. It grew a leaks one. And you know that he talks about every room is bad. There's no, there is no good room. It doesn't matter how successful you are, how transparent you are, how much you help people, how much you love people, and you want to help them succeed no matter how many positive reviews, he will knock your room down. There's nothing, it's just the way he is. He hates life and he hates chat rooms. Yet he has one himself that nobody joins. So my point to all this is he made a comment about my setup. And I do want to address it out loud since a lot of you trolls that don't follow me have no clue what we do in the room were citing like, oh, yeah, yeah, what an idiot. He's so stupid. Well, I'm not stupid, okay? Um, this is my setup. So you clearly understand. This is my setup here, okay? This is this, this computer right here to the far right. is my, This is exactly where I trade. It's a comfort level for me. I'm sitting on a little corner. I have my mouse. I click, click. I could stare in front of it. Um, there's a door right here. I let my dog out here and there. But... It's very difficult for me to trade on the main screen. And the reason for that is because, if you notice, I run a chat room, a great chat room, not just an average chat room, not a mediocre. I run the greatest chat room in the, in the world, and that's what we are. That's who we are. And um, right here, as you can see, this screen here, this is when Darkseid takes over the mic. He has his own uh, set of uh, charts that he puts up there and so forth. And obviously, this comes over but when I take the screen, this these two monitor, this monitor here with these two trades, they actually take over the screen. And then right here is right, this white spot right here is the the chat room. And this is where hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of traders are asking me questions about the trade. What do I do? 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 It's a constant because I I trade off my notes. This is how I trade my stocks. I write notes down. I predict what the stock's going to do before the market even opens. I'm 90, 95% accurate. That's what I do. Okay? Uh, DVAX was going to sell off today to 5 bucks today. It already hit $5.80. Pixie was going to run to through 10.50 to go long and probably run to 14.15 and hit it. Cena was going to uh, short at 38, was going to pop and then come down to 35 and under. Every time you read these notes, it's exactly what the stocks did. And I do this before the market even opens. Myrna was going to sell off today after initial pop to 79, and then it was going to dump. Uh, Baidu was going to sell off to 110 to 112 today, regardless of the earnings, and it's going to hit 120 at the open. And guess what? Baidu's 111, dead center. Uh, uh, AAP was going to sell off to 135 today, short at 142. The stock right now is 137.05. And I can go on and on and on. But this is what we do. This is what makes this room amazing. So what I do is I pick, I tell the, the, the chat room, I have four trades I want to do. This one, this one, this one, this one, and this one. More. I'll say these are going to be on my screen. And what I mean by that, I'm simply putting it on my screen, uh, which is right here, right there. These are the four. Okay? So then... Here, this this one is uh, these are, these two are basically live accounts, real account numbers, okay. But I don't keep money in them. I just use them for chart basis only. This here is a retirement, right? And if I want to see something like a swing and I want to pick it up and I'll buy it there, I could just ch uh, change the, uh, the uh, thing right here, uh, the the stock idea, and then I just hit Active Trader and I can make a visit. So if I'm going to take a swing trade. I will let the note low, and I usually take it in this account. This, is, these are all separate accounts. Each of these are separate. This is separate because if you know anything about TD, they do not allow you to double use their system. So you can't have 
this over here and then flip over. It's just a recent change that they did. I used to, I used to have it over here, this same account over here, and I just every morning I just open it up. Well, I opened it up one morning and they said, no, you have to have a separate account. So there I can't let anything disrupt what I'm doing here because this is my trading account. So I therefore, and I don't use any other systems. I don't use Fidelity, International Brokers. I am comfortable with uh, Think or Swim and how it operates. I like their system. All right. This here, I've had this for eight years. Okay. It is uh, just a basic, um, uh, what do you call it? It's a display for everyone to see. And I can flip charts every 30 seconds. I can go, okay, do this. Okay, oh, what about this? Okay, I can flip it. Sometimes what I'll do is I'll say, okay, I'm going to trade this stock right in front of you now. And I'll put it on screen. Then on here, I have the same stock. And you'll hear me go, click, 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 click. And you'll hear the executions. You can even see the tape. Okay? But I do this because in the middle of me trading, someone will ask me, well, what about ACB? Well, what about Pixie? Well, what about NVIDIA? Well, what about TDD? I have to keep this active and keep using it so because this is the display of the chat. Okay? There's no reason for me to keep money in this. I'm not going to trade this account. This is my trading account. At the end of the day, I will post you my PL. I'm extremely transparent. I tell the chat room what I'm going to trade, how I'm going to trade, what I'm looking for. I tell them when I'm up, when I'm down, when I lose. Simple as that. Okay? I don't feel like I need to justify what I do in my own great chat room. If there's a question, you can always come in here and I'll answer it. I don't lie. I don't paper trade. Okay, I make a living day trading. At the end of the day, I post a P&L. I tell you what I traded. I give you a recap and then I do a video. La la. So hate all you want. And there's this. There's the same. People hate what they don't understand. And there's the other same. If they don't hate you, you must be doing something wrong, okay? Or you might be, or you're doing something right, right? I am. You know, for eight years, we're running the most successful stock trading chat room in the world. I don't think anybody does or even comes close to what we do. And not to bow, not to toot my own horn, but 18 chat rooms came from this room. So if I was all these things people describe. There would be 18 less chat rooms out there, wouldn't there? Okay, so let's, you stay in your corner, and I'll stay in mine, all right? I don't talk bad about people. I don't need to go out and tell somebody he's a horrible person, he's a horrible trader. I don't go to a competitor. Well, actually, there's no competition. <laughs> I don't go anywhere, and, 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 you know, once in a while, I'll see a guy put out a video about how to lose money, and he does it in front of you, and he, it's a trade that he wanted everyone to take. And it's like, what are you doing, dude? You're not, you're not. But even those, I restrain myself from actually really commenting out in the public. I mean, it's just like political views. I don't get involved in that, okay? It's just like flirting. I don't flirt with people. I don't do that. I keep it very business in this chat room. It's all about a client making money. Now, it is important that a client sees that I make money. You know, what good is it to just spoof off ideas? Well, why don't you trade it then? Okay, no problem. You know, if you're a real bona fide, honest trader that knows what he's doing, why don't you just trade? Why, why are you living in another country, living off your subs? I don't do that. You know, I am a trader. Trader first, trader last. And I want everyone to come in here to know that you have an opportunity. And if you want to take my trades along alongside me, and you have no idea. When I display this screen here in front of everyone, people will follow the trade with me. And they'll hear me long, 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 short, long, 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 short. I'm going to short it here. I'm going to long it here. Yada, 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 yada. Okay? So that's my explanation on that. Now, how do you handle emotions? This is really, really important to day trading. All right, everyone knows, basically, everyone knows that if you trade with real money and you, you know, when you trade with real money, that attached with that is emotions, anxiety. Anxiety comes from the fact that you can't lose money. You know, your family's depending on you, you're depending on you, you know, you can't. You can't screw up because this is your money. 
and it, really I don't care how rich you are um, or even how little your account is. It doesn't mean anything to me. You're still going to carry the same emotion. I have emotion when I trade. If I didn't, if I did have any, and I'm like, oh, yeah, I'm long here. I make $40. I just made $4,000. If I made $4,000 on a trade, man, I'd be going nuts. I'd be going crazy. I mean, I'd be just like, I'll be all over the world. Okay? But I'm not a home run kind of guy. You know, even if the, the stock is there, you know, I just, I'm not one of those guys that load 10,000 shares in and just kind of cross my fingers. <laughs> I just don't do that. But today was a perfect example. Okay, the one of the first things to overcome emotion is you got to believe in yourself. This is the first and foremost thing you need to understand. You know what? I'm looking at Tesla too much. I got to change the screen to Siri. I'm sorry. When I do that, I get preoccupied. I have to change the screen. So I'm going to take this off and then put like Myrna up here. Myrna was a good rebound. That's a nice trade right there. Um, so this morning, I mean, for the life of me, whatever I clicked, I was wrong. Even though I was following my notes. And the reason I tend to get in those positions, let's take Pixie for instance. In pre-market, I'm telling the chat room, if this goes through 10, 10 and a half, it's, gonna, it's, it's gone. And it did. But a lot of times when because I run the room, I don't I'm not really privy to, to stop in the middle of my conversation or what I'm trying to prepare the room to do to just make a trade, um, especially in pre-market. I don't you know, when that 10 minutes before that bell rings, it's everything to the traders. They need to know what they're gonna do and how they're going to trade their these ideas. And it's the only way the room's gonna work. So I have to put my my selfishness aside and focus in on the room because these people in my room are paying good money to be here six dollars and 75 cents a day okay so i need to give them priority i don't get the priority as if i was just on my own however um by the time i decided to go okay fine i'll take the trade i traded it right here uh let's say i'm pixie I, and i nailed it i think i was up right away and then i went back in it uh, on a curl, I thought it would break out right here, and then bam, it slammed me. And then ever since, I, I couldn't make a, do a dollar on it. The market makers were just aggressive. It was a great trade, but unfortunately, I traded it wrong. So, again, it happens. And this is another thing you have to tell yourself, okay, it happened. Now, you don't want to say it happened, it happened, it happened over and over and over, but you want to be able to tell yourself, look, you know, for me, what, what makes me overcome is I know that I can make money. I know it's just timing. My timing's off. It could be, you know, I started trading right at the bell ring and, and you know, TD is messing me up on my orders because I get a lot of that happens too. But I know by the end of the day, I'm going to be green. I'm going to be green somehow, some way. I'm going to make good money today. I'm going to have fun. I'm going to enjoy my day. And if you've noticed, I think in the last two months, the most I've ever lost that I've shown you is $160. I think I posted it one day. This is my loss for today. And that was the last time I lost was the 161. Every day I make money. And so because I believe in myself, and this is really important about you as an individual trader, you have to believe in what you're doing. You may not understand everything you're doing, and that's what we're here for. That's what the great dark side and Jenny and Adam and myself and B Trades and Palmer and JT and James and Raphael and Dave the Trader. Okay, you know, and let me. I want to. I want to kind of show you something. What Dave the Trader's working on. This is. I. You know. This. This is the love this room has. Dave the Trader's working on a system. I think it's right here, and he was working on it all weekend, where it, it will display. It's like a dashboard. For notes and how I do things. He'll post it. He'll take my notes after I post it to the public. He'll explain where the he explains where the trade come from, the idea come from. Do, do you know how honored I am that people appreciate my work? That they'll create things like this. And this isn't the first time somebody's done something for me. I've had other things being done. What does that say about me? It just it makes me feel so happy that. People recognize my quality of my work, that they'll build things on it. 
Now, I don't like it when a guy uses my service and then takes steals from me and then opens up a chat room. No, I, I'm never going to like that. I mean, you got to go get your own clients. You got to hustle yourself. You know, you don't go in a room that has five, six hundred people and then befriend the owner and then have him glorify you and then help you get 500, 550 to 100 people to like you and like the way you trade and then turn around and take those people from my room. I mean, that's not the way I roll. You know what I mean? It's not the way I roll. But I love this. I think this is really a cool, cool idea. You know? Hold on. Somebody's trying to... Um, yeah, this is from Dave the Trader. So I love this. You know, it's just a different type of thing. It's just kind of like what Palmer does on his site. You know, he'll have his setups and how he talks about when you go to his his thing there. And, um, yeah, he's done. Yeah, let me let me keep talking about this. So, because this is being recorded. Um, so, my, my thing is, you know, so getting back to keeping your emotions in check, it's really, really important. When, when a trade doesn't work, okay, when the trade, now the old me, when I was coming up, used to just like, forget it, I'm done. I mean, I, you know, I'd be so down on myself. I would be so like, you're such an idiot. You're so, I'd be call myself names and so forth. Why aren't you getting it? And it's clearly because that's the key thing. I wasn't getting it. But when you're in here, I won't let you fail. I won't let you fail. If you're down, tell me. I lost 600. I didn't understand what I was doing. Let me help you. And most of all, don't trade something you don't understand. Don't do that. A lot of traders like to follow what another trader is doing. That's great, but it's a 50-50 in my opinion. Because if you don't know what the trader is actually doing or what he's thinking, you're not thinking that. You're just following him. All right, But you need to know what he's thinking. This should do this because everything should have a reason behind it. And that's what we trade in here. There's a reason. If I traded Pixie for the last six months, no. But today, the great Zach Morris put out there that he had news. At, at, he was first on it. Zach Morris, $8, dollars $8. Boom. I know Pixie. I didn't need to ask you know anybody how to trade it. I know it's a former runner. You don't believe me it's a former runner? Look at the last year. Former runner. This thing can run to $24, $25, $30 a share. It's a former runner. All right. But for me, once I saw the news that he put out free on Twitter, I realized and it was before any of the other sites had it. All the scans didn't have it. I said, boom, this thing is going to go. If it gets through 950, go long. You go to 1050 or more. And bam, it went to 15. When you know how to trade, know what the stock's going to do before it does it, it helps the traders in the room to understand it. Now, how do you trade it? Well, fortunately, I traded it wrong. You know, but again, I keep my emotions in check. And what I mean by that is I lost. I don't go back and start to venge trade it. I don't venge trade. Venge trade is like it's revenge. You, you, you like, you, you got to get your money. I don't revenge trade. I just look at it like I time it. Okay, I timed it wrong. And that's how I look at myself. You know, AJ, you're timing it wrong. And the one thing you have to know about this room, when you watch me or you listen to me and I'm on the speaker and I'm talking, you hear me. I lost. Oh, my gosh, I lost. Oh, I just lost on that. And if I had followed the notes to a T, I wouldn't have lost anything. But, again, I trade different because I don't have a lot of time. I want to get my day done within the first hour or two and be finished. Otherwise, I have to work all day to go get my $1,000, and I have to make 1000 a day. That's what I have to do. I have to do that. i got to prove to my son, prove to myself, pay my bills, pay my rent, okay? I mean, my rent's, what, twelve grand a month? i gotta pay, I got to pay my stuff, all right? I don't, I got health insurance, you know, I've got life insurance, I've got car insurance, i got a car payment, you know? So... I got to pay my bills, you know, and just like all of you. So what I do is when I lose, and this morning, every trade I did, I lost. I took five trades, and it doesn't happen all the time, but it happened. 
So all I do is I take a moment. I say, okay, take a deep breath, and let's get back to work. And that's really what I do. I don't walk away. I don't go in another room. I don't walk outside. I don't walk in the woods, okay? I just look at what's in front of me and say, okay, AJ, your time is off. Chill. The one thing about day trading you have to know is you get to trade all day long. There's always going to be an opportunity. You don't believe me? Look at this. You want to see an opportunity? Look at that. I'm sitting in here. The great dark side's got the mic. All the mods are in here. We're chilling. And shop just goes, just gone. And I'm like, oh my gosh. And I write in the room, shop, pull. Then a shop, huge pull. Just, and then I asked the room, does anybody see news? Because I, I kept going to my scans right away. I'm like, where's shop? Where's shop? What's going on? What's going on? There's nothing. I don't see anything. But I know the great Adam News, his scan service is like second to none. So I know that he's going to probably tell me what's going on on shop. And meanwhile, it kept pulling. And one of the things you have to understand, especially with me, is I don't trade a stock unless I understand the news. I don't go in there and just go, oh, it's pulling 40 points. Let me bounce it. No, you can lose another 30. Don't do that. Just because it's pulled 30, 40, it could pull 100. It could have went down to 650. What are you going to do when you're down 60 points in a blink? You see these candles? You don't believe me? Look at that candle, 734 to 716. Do you really want to lose 25 points in front of your face? Because you're trying to think. No, I don't go, well, let me figure it. I need to figure it out, but I don't go like, well, it's got to be, it's got to rebound. Okay, you can't think like that. People nowadays, traders, they think, well, it went this far down. I'm sure it'll bounce. You No, you need to know what the news is. So, as, as, as a, within 30 seconds, 45 seconds, you got the great Adam News. And if you're not following him, you need to. This man is like Palmer to me. You know, I'm just, I'm just blessed he's in our room. This is Adam News, right? Adam News 8. He's a proud moderator and awesome call straight. He tells you right there. He doesn't do a lot of tweeting, but when he does, he expresses himself extremely well. He's very respected in here. Great leadership. And I'm honored. I'm honored every day he's in this room, okay? And, um, but he had the news. And he explained it in the chat room. So from right there, once he, I understood it, I said, oh, okay. Now, again, my timing was off. I watched this thing rip 30 points and I didn't take a trade <laughs> like, because I didn't know what the news was. I finally started to execute the trade. And as you can see, if you're trading shop, it can bite you. So my dog was in the room. I was talking to Lucy. <laughs> Sure as enough, I bought the stock right here at 738 and it slammed me. I bought it again, it slammed me. I'm two four hundred three, four hundred dollars. I'm like, how do I do that? But I kind of just smiled at myself. I'm sitting to myself, that's okay, you're gonna get it back. And sure as enough, I just ripped it right here. And I mean, I'm up six hundred dollars on the trade. You'll see at the end of the day, five hundred and eighty dollars. I am so proud of myself. Right? So then all I did was, you know. So, again, my timing was off, but once I understood the news, I knew it was positive for shop, and therefore I could trade it the way I needed to. You know, again, I was kind of trading it, not knowing the whole surface of the news, but if I would have known the full news, I probably wouldn't even have scalped it. I probably would have just let it be. But as soon as it broke out here, I saw this flagging I said, oh it's gonna go and look at this flag right here 741 to 752 that's a nine point candle and I, I I love to get in those and there's where I make my money because I understood it a lot of times too you know I'll look at and this is the beauty of our room we have 12 different ideas every morning and so what I do is like okay this isn't working for me you know so let me go pick another one. Even though it, if you traded according to the plan, you probably would have killed it. Like, let's take Cena, for instance. A simple trade. Simple, Cena will pop at the open to 38, and that's going to flush down to 35, and you're done with it. 
Let's take Baidu. Baidu beat good. They're up 12. But you know what? The stock's going to pop at the open to 120. And then it's going to sell off all day long to 110. How do I know that? How do I know that? Because I'm one of the greatest traders, day traders, analyst traders, earnings traders out there. This is what I do for a living. I didn't spend 16 years, half of those years losing before I became a winner because I started to understand the move of the stock, what it was going to do. And now I'm so good that I actually have a great service that can tell traders, don't do this. In other words, because they had impressive numbers, don't buy the stock long at the open because the stock's going to crumble to 110. How do you know that, sir? How do you know that, AJ? How does anyone know that before it even opens? Because when you study and you give your life to something that you love, like I do, I understand Baidu. I understand all these stocks seen at Baidu. Let me show you Baidu. Are you ready? Now remember what I said. We're going to have a sell-off to 110 today. The stock's going to pop at the open. And if it does, scale in short, it'll cap off at 122. But at the end of the day, it's a 110 stock. Cena, I said, will pop at the open of 38, but it's going to dump the 35. It's just the way these stocks work. So what does that tell you? That means you can come into this great room and go, you know what, I like those two stocks, man. That, that, that sounds good. I think I want to take those two. And you walk in and you think it's magic. It isn't. It's not magic. Here's Baidu. Ding, 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 ding. Opening bell. Look what happened. 120. Here's your short. Ding, 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 ding. Short it. Two minutes into the opening bell. And guess what a stock hit? 110. That's how you make 10 points. If you're an option trader and you buy puts, start buying the 110 puts right at the opening bell. Buy 10 contracts. I know where the stock's going to go. You don't. But by the end of the day, you're going to learn why this stock sold off. You could study my notes. You can watch how it played out. You could see what I was talking about. Right? Let's look at Cena. Ding, 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 ding. What did I say? Pop at the open to 38. 37.73. Within a quarter. Double topped. Right there. There's your double top. Lower low set in. Short it right here. 37.24. Guess where the stock went? $35, $34.45. Look how much money you could have made in our room, regardless of your account. I could have traded those. I could have traded those. And that's the beauty when I'm trading. I think to myself, well, I'm always going to have an opportunity. So maybe I'll go do Cena. Well, maybe I'll go do this. Because I'm the guy who wrote up the notes. So I can pick whatever I want. <laughs> you know? But I like to stick to my go-to's. I don't know. It's just something about me. I love them. I've been making money consistently. Why change it unless it changes you? So I love to trade in my shops. And today, just encourage me to trade shop again. And remember, a couple days ago, I was so discouraged. Shop just chewed me up and threw me out. I mean, they just had their way with me and just took my money. But I told myself, listen, gradually get yourself back into it. So the next day, I didn't trade it. Following day, I traded like 100 shares for 50 bucks. Then the next day, I made like 150. Today, I made 600. I'm back again. You see, I gradually put, you know, I didn't just jump into the next day. I didn't revenge trade the next day. I know shop. At the end of the day, let me tell you something. The stocks don't care anything about you. They're going to do what they're going to do. You need to understand what they're going to do before they do it. That's what's going to make you successful, especially in this chat room. So when you're having a bad day, that's when you reach out, especially if you're in our room. Reach out. Hey, I'm just having a really bad day. Can you help me? Help me make a few hundred dollars, just a hundred bucks. Give me a winning trade. Get me back on my path. Fine. Because that's what I do to myself. I'm only doing what I teach, what I preach. I don't have anybody telling me. You know, there's no moderator going, it's okay, AJ, I got you. <laughs> you know, there's nobody doing that for me. It's just, it's just me. But in here, I got you, you know, whether you're, you're a seasoned trader for 30 years or you're a beginner or your first day in the room, I got you. I'm going to take care of you, okay? And 
you know, how am I taking care of? Perfect example today, Adam News. Adam News. I can always count on that gentleman. Every time he comes in, he's going to have something for me. And today, he gave us that and he gave us pins. He just he, he put it out there. Google interested in pins. Bam. This alert was at 1870. Ran. People made money. Right? And, you know, it's hey, things like that that really just like, hey, I made a few bucks. But hey, keep your emotions in check. Rationalize what you're doing. If you don't understand the move, why are you taking it? Ask questions. Study at the end of the day. Do a recap. Figure out what you did wrong or what you did right. And then apply that to the next day. But never, never, never knock yourself down. Never put yourself down. Don't do that. All right? Don't discourage yourself. At the end of the day, you're going to be all right, especially in here. Okay? Keep those emotions in check, just like I do. All right? And live another day. And that is today's webinar. You know, I just kind of wanted to talk about things and explain a few things, uh, how we operate our shop in here. And, you know, listen, I'm a real person. All right? I'm genuine. I'm real. But I'm very demanding. I'm very, very demanding. You know, especially if you're going to trade in here. This room isn't for everybody. Uh, I'll, I'll tell you that right now. You know, because I, I really want traders that really believe in what they're doing. I don't want people that treat this room like a, a, a day trading as a hobby. This is not for you because I will. I, I just I resent people that do that think that because day trading is a way of living. It's a way to take care of your family. This is how my family is taken care of. OK, so take it serious. Learn from your mistakes. And always remember, each mistake is going to grow, make you grow. Just I can't stress that enough. Each mistake is going to make you grow. When I trade every day, my mistakes get less and less and less and less, and my accuracy gets better and better and better because I'm learning from my mistakes, and I believe in what I'm doing, and so should you. Okay? God bless. Thank you. Oh, if you want to join our room, it's a killer room. Just uh, click on any icon, anything you see with awesome calls, brings you right into the, the uh, website. And have fun. Just scroll down, subscribe, peruse the, the reviews, the site, the webinars, uh, you know, special classes. You know, I do two of them. The great Janny and Darkside have their own. Uh, I'm hoping uh, Palmer does one of for clients too, especially beginners. I think it'd be wonderful to have beginners to sign up. I'd probably encourage everyone to do it. Anyway, here's your day, week, and month pass. And if you want to, I had a client ask me, uh, this is another thing. I don't do lifetime memberships. I had a client follow me for two weeks and said, I want a lifetime membership. Okay, I don't do that. There are no lifetime memberships. The most I'll do is two. All right? I just, I don't do lifetime. What is lifetime? <laughs> I live my day every day as if it's my last, okay? So the most I'll do is two years. And I don't do lifetime. It's just, it's, really, yeah, just don't, it's not my thing. And I don't I don't sell you. That's another thing. I don't oversell you. I don't go, oh, I was I was reading something from, I'm not even calling it a competitor, but I was actually reading that the client came into the, guy, the person's room and, you know, in order for him to learn how to trade Pixie, for instance, he had to buy a $3,000 video. After he read the video, he goes, okay, I still don't understand the trade. Well, now you got to buy this $1,500 video about how to read small cap stocks. <laughs> he still couldn't trade Pixie. Then he got another video. So by the time he got done, he had $9,000 worth of videos, and he still couldn't trade Pixie. <laughs> you know Who does that to people? But there are services that that's all they do. It's all upsell. And for me, it's just, here's the room. Here I am. Let's go to work. Here's the list. Let me help you. Let's kick, let's kick butt. Let's make money. Okay? All right. So thank you. I'll talk to you later.